Welcome back everyone. This is Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar. Uh, it just rained uh, about eight hours ago. I'm over here in Anaheim, California. And uh, I usually go to this park here. Um, and the ground is nice and wet. Good conductivity today, I think. Um, I'm using my quarter wave ground plane antenna. But this time I have uh, 12 radios instead of five or four and um, they are about I would say um, 8.25 feet uh, which is about half of what um, a radial is for 20 meter for the 20 meter band um, I decided to use 12 because I've been watching a lot of um, the ex commander videos and I've noticed that he uses a lot of uh, shorter radios maybe like something like 10 feet and he has um, many radios going around um, now with 12 with 12 radials at about 8.25 feet I have approximately two wavelengths on the ground the more wire there is on the ground the better the conductivity. Now, right now, I'm using the banana, uh, BNC banana uh, adapter. Very easy to use, affordable, um, and you know, if you use it right, you won't have any issues. Uh, now, I have this blue line here. That's the radiating radiating element that goes all the way up to about 16 feet at least uh 16 and a half feet and then there's a wire that goes around the tree and then goes down to the floor where there's a weight now that weight is uh, there's some resistance of course on the ground and it's a counter weight to this setup here now having 12 radios uh, can be a challenge sometimes if you use very thin wire something like uh, ooh, I'm gonna say like 22 gauge wire or thinner it starts to tangle very easily uh, 14 gauge wire for me is great it doesn't tangle that's what the blue one is the green one is from uh, soda beams and I'm trying to remember what size this wire is Ooh, I want to say 18 maybe 17 it's definitely a little bit thinner than the 14 um, doesn't tangle as easily now I, they sell it in green they might sell it in a different color but it's affordable okay now let's look at some of the contacts that I've made so far so Colorado, Oregon, Texas, California, Colorado, Oakland, and another Texas. So this is uh, just for today, that's POTA. And I also spoke to somebody from Washington State and Texas as well. So not bad for, oh, I would say two and a half hours worth of being out here. Um, at the park now a couple of things to consider especially if you're trying to get into HF the first thing is that um, you know it's the 31st of December so there's a lot more people at home with the radios um, and it seems like they're also out at the park so there's more people out there with their radios having some contacts with others uh, another thing that uh, you should also consider is that um, the time of day. Right now it's about 4.30. It's winter and I've noticed that during the winter, the, the, um, of course the sun goes down. The sun is going down around 5.15. Less propagation is going on uh, in the winter. During the summer, you know, you might have people here in Southern California, you might be talking to people until almost 7.30, uh, 8 o'clock, but uh, not during the winter. Seems like the 20 meter band just dies on you. 
Um, still using the um, IC705. Let's look at that very quickly. Just right there. Most of the contacts were uh, within uh, within 15 watts or so. Most of the time I was using 5 watts. Sometimes I had to turn on the amplifier to give me a little more, uh, um, you know, go above the, the noise. But there wasn't too much noise at all. Okay. I hope this was... Uh, Something that you might want to build in the future. This is Whiskey Charlie Zero Oscar.